All right, today we're going to take a look at direct objects. A direct object is always the complement of a transitive verb, and if you forgot what a complement is, it answers what or whom. It comes right after the verb. When there is more than one direct object, it's said that they are compound. So number one here, Jack left the room very angry. Jack is my subject. Left is the verb. Room is my what. And we said that a direct object answers what or whom. So this is my direct object. Number two, Bob is my subject. Saw is the verb. Friend answers who. Number three, we is the subject. Bought is the verb. Paper answers what, and pencils answers what. So these two items are my direct object. Remember that I said if there's more than one uh, more than one direct object, it said that they are compound. Number four, everyone is my subject. Applauded is the verb. Efforts is the what. So this will be my direct object. Do number 13. Someone stole Jack's bicycle. Someone is the subject. What did the, what did someone do? They stole, so that's my verb. And bicycle answers what did they steal? So that's my direct object. Number 4. Bad weather hindered him in his first visit. Weather is the subject. Hindered is the verb. Him answers who. So this is my direct object. In number five, Pizarro is my subject. Located is the verb. Inca is who. When you, whenever you have and, you're probably going to have a compound direct object. So empire is what. So this is my direct object, and this is my direct object. Number 16, Beethoven wrote only one opera. Beethoven's my subject. Wrote is the verb. Opera is what. So this is my direct object. We'll do one more. Number 53, we received oranges from Florida. We is the subject. Received is the verb. Oranges answers what. So this is the direct object. All right, next we're going to take a look at indirect objects. An indirect object appears with the direct object and names the person or thing. An indirect object appears with the direct object and names the person or thing to which something is given or done. Remember, for your quizzes and tests, you need to know that these are going to be fill in the blank. Rule 19, an indirect object always precedes the direct object in a sentence. In other words, it's going to come first. It will always come before the direct object. You can never have an indirect object without a direct object. In other words, if there isn't a direct object, there is no indirect object. The prepositions to and for are understood with the indirect object. I will explain that in a minute. And then the other thing is indirect objects are never part of the basic sentence pattern. So number one, the principal gave the class a free period. Well, principal's the subject, gave is the verb. Now I have class, which is a what, and then a period, which is a what. So a couple of things, going back to these rules. The indirect object always comes before the direct object. So this is going to be my indirect object, and this will be the direct object. The other thing that I said is the prepositions two and, front, two and four are understood. 
if you take a look at this, the principal gave, I could insert the word to right in here. The principal gave to the class a free period. So let's take a look at another example. Ships is my verb, excuse me, subject. Brought is the verb. People is who. And then I've got food and clothing. So going back to the rules, the indirect object always proceeds. And you can insert two or four in front of it and it will still make sense. So ships brought to the people food and clothing. So when we say that an indirect object is to whom or for whom something is given or done, you can see that in this sentence, the ships brought to the people food and clothing. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Thespian club is my subject, gave the school. A great movie. So again, the indirect object is always going to come first. This is my direct object. And I can insert two. The thespian club gave to the school a great movie. Number five, the FBI sent Mr. Matthews a warning. FBI is my subject. Sent is the verb. Mr. Matthews is who and warning is what. This is the direct object. The indirect object will always come first and you can always insert a form of two or four. The FBI sent to Mr. Matthews a warning. Number seven, please take Mary and Ted some ice cream. So you is my subject take is the verb Mary and Ted are even though that's two it's considered to be one because it's who and who this will be my indirect object some ice cream ice cream is what so this is my direct object one more the freshman class gave the basketball team hot chocolate Class is the subject, gave is the verb, team is the who, and chocolate, I'll go ahead, it's, it's, it'll be hot chocolate, those, those can be counted as one, is what. So hot chocolate will be my direct object, team is my indirect object, and you can test it by inserting a form of two. Now going back to these sentences, what do you notice they all have in common? Hopefully you can see that this one has a what and a what, this one has a who and a what, this one has a who and a what, and this one has a who and a what. Remember that following a transitive verb it will answer a who or a what. You will always need to have two of these. If you don't have two who, if you don't have a who and a what, a what and a who, or a who and a who, or a what and a what, then you do not have an indirect object. Remember that the indirect object will always come first.